In the British Parliament, there was a call for Britain to start a direct war with Russia. Tobias Elwood, chairman of the British Parliamentary Defence Committee, said the UK needed to go to martial law and meet Russia face to face. He said this on the air of the Sky News Channel. We are at war in Europe. We need to move to martial law, Elwood said. According to him, Britain is involved in this as it has mobilized the processes of acquiring weapons and providing weapons to Kyiv. We need to meet with Russia face to face and not leave Ukraine all the work. RIA Novosti quoted him as saying, Earlier, the Chief of the General Staff of the British Armed Forces, Patrick Sanders, said that sending the Challenger 2 tanks to the armed forces of Ukraine would temporarily weaken the British Army. The chairman of the Commons Defence Select Committee has said the British Army is in dire state after Sky News revealed a US general privately told the Defence Secretary the UK's armed forces are no longer regarded as a top-level fighting force. Defence sources revealed the US general said this decline in war fighting capability needed to be reversed faster than planned in the wake of Russia's war in Ukraine. Responding to the U.S. General's comments, Defense Committee Chairman Tobias Elwood said people should be very concerned about the armed forces' current capabilities. The senior Tory called on the government to reverse swathing cuts to the army because its equipment has become obsolete. Mr. Elwood said there had been huge investments into the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force in recent years, but added the army is in a dire state, he continued. Our army is simply too small. We have cut down by 10,000 troops. I do hope the Defence Review will look at these issues and reverse some of the swathing cuts that were made a couple of years ago. It is up to the Treasury and Number 10 to recognise the world is changing. We are now at war in Europe. We need to move to a war footing. We have become complacent. We need investment to make sure we retain people, the good people that are there, but there are not enough of them and the equipment is now obsolete. He pointed out that UK's armoured fleet of Challenge 2's warriors and scimitars are all over 20, 30 or 50 years old without any upgrades. I'm pleased that voices are now coming through to say this is unacceptable, Elwood said. We've whittled down our capability. We had 900 tanks a couple of decades ago. We're now going down to 148.